In a conventional braking system, you pull a trigger and a wheel is squeezed by two discs, which stops the wheel from spinning. But this causes the parts to wear down over time, which impairs their functionality. So instead, we can use magnets, which means there's no moving parts and there's nothing to wear down, which means they can last a lot longer. But how do we stop a wheel with just a magnet? The key physical phenomena here is something known as magnetic induction, which gives rise to eddy currents. To explain what magnetic induction is, imagine you have a magnetic field and you place a conductor in this magnetic field. If you move the conductor through the field, a voltage will be induced in the conductor. This is due to the complex relationships between electricity and magnetism. In a wire, currents simply flow in a single direction. However, in a sheet of metal this is not possible and current flows in little loops, and these loops are known as eddy currents. The same processes that create magnetic induction also cause a magnetic field to be formed when you have current. Lenz's law states, an induced electromotive force always gives rise to a current whose magnetic field opposes the original change in magnetic flux. To explain what this means, I'm going to use a demonstration from a previous video. Moving a magnet past a conductor is the same as moving a conductor through a magnetic field. So if we drop a magnet through a copper pipe, EMF or voltage will be induced, and so will eddy current. You'll notice the magnet falls very slowly through the copper pipe, because of the magnetic fields from the eddy currents are pushing back on it. So in this case, Lenz's law could be rephrased to say the induced magnetic field opposes the motion that creates it. If we go back to our original idea, we will need a wheel and an electromagnet. If we have the wheel spinning in one direction, and then we turn on the electromagnet, by what we just discussed, we know the force from the eddy currents cause the wheel to stop moving, thus giving us our magnetic braking system. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Also, follow me on Tumblr and Twitter.